Secretary Rice offered words that could just as well apply to American policy. It's a day of great tragedy, great mourning. There have now been two attempts, the second one successful, to kill Pakistan's most popular politician. Two attempts to kill his president, Musharraf, and one to kill a former minister of interior. Administration officials say they all appear to be the work of terrorists with links to al-Qaeda. But according to Dan Markey of the Council on Foreign Relations, Pakistan simply does not take the threat as seriously as the U.S. I think many Pakistanis still don't believe that these groups threaten them. They think these groups simply threaten the United States, and the only reason that they're in trouble now is because of us. An advisor to Bhutto says she was campaigning to change the mindset that al-Qaeda is somebody else's problem. In Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto was the only political leader who publicly, publicly took the stand that the war against terror is Pakistan's war. A senior military officer says Bhutto's death may finally convince the Pakistanis al-Qaeda is a threat to them as well. But that is just a hope. The reality is that the Pakistani military and intelligence service is filled with officers who sympathize with the militants. And the Pakistani army has spent its entire existence preparing for war against India is neither equipped nor trained for a counterinsurgency campaign against al-Qaeda. David Martin, CBS News.